Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair Hello! Hello! We made it to Cornwall Truro! Where, where are we, can I? We're in Truro, Cornwall yeah. uh, More specifically, uh, walking from Tesco's yep. along the harbour to see the cathedral. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now outside the cathedral. I'm going to take you for a wander. Let's go and see what we can find. Come with me. Whilst I'm in here, I'm going to get Claire to give you some facts. She's waiting outside with the dogs and she will tell you about the cathedral. Hello, so while David is inside the cathedral, I'm going to give you a few facts about Truro Cathedral. So it was started to build at 1880 and it finished in 1913. It has three spires and it, there's only two other cathedrals in the UK that have three spires, which are Litchfield and Lincoln, I think. Um, David has also said that he can tell it's Victorian from the square spikes. I don't know if that's the proper word for him, but it is quite a magnificent cathedral and I'm sure David's going to get some nice footage inside. <laughs> So, I've just come out of the cathedral, and just to reflect on what I've seen in there, I think it's a gorgeous place. There's some great artistic depictions of Holy Week and the resurrection, which is lovely. And the other thing I loved was, I don't like it when you go to a cathedral, because I am religious, and I don't agree with having to pay for a ticket as such. Um, in the cathedral in there, the ticket is uh, it's donation, so that's really good because it means that people can just give what they what they can afford or what they think it's worth. And, but yeah, it was really nice in there and I really enjoyed it. And look, there's an Emily-sized oh. door. Oh, Claire's there. An Emily-sized door. You mean, uh, for anyone that doesn't know what you mean, Emily <laughs> from Camper Vibe. So, you might have seen us go around the corner on some footage that Claire's taken. We are now at Carney Beach. Claire's done her research on the internet and apparently this is the closest place where dogs can go on the beach. It does look gorgeous here, so uh, yeah, we'll go down and see what it's like. We'll show you what we find. You alright Claire? Yes, I'm in the sea. Why are you pulling funny faces? <laughs> One word of caution I would give you is that when you come down, the road down is very, very tight. There's some tight bends. Um, it's quite difficult to uh, navigate. You can see it just up there. It is only one lane wide and uh, we had fawns and all sorts scraping the side of the van. We have arrived at Verianne campsite. Really pleased so far. 
nice and friendly staff that welcomed us. We didn't actually have our camping and caravan club card. They've been right about it at the site. We have got another site to go to on this holiday and a little bit nervous that they're not going to accept it. We're, po we're pitched up. David's gone to use the facilities. I'm having a cider and the girls are chilling. Are you chilling, Tessie? Do you like it here? It's not yours. You've had yours. So what we got, David? So we've got um, stuffed pasta with ricotta and spinach. And then we've got some goujons chucked in there. Nice creamy, cheesy sauce and rich monkey garlic bread. Good morning. It's Monday morning. It's much better than a normal Monday morning because we're not at work. We're on holiday. Okay, can I just stop you there? Can oh. I have my broom handle, please? Broom handle? Yes, my broom handle. David, I'm trying to film. You know, I've been sweeping out the back of the van, didn't I? Weirdo. Thank you. So, yeah, so today we are going to go and see Minnick Theatre and then we're going to pop down to Land's End. Apparently, it's not far away from Minnick Theatre, so the sun is shining. Let's hope it stays that way. It does look like it's going to be nice. Um, so, yeah, we're quite excited about today. Oh, and we've got a task for today. We've got a task, apparently. <coughs> What's the task? It's a task for today. Is after we go to Miniac Theatre, we're going to go to Land's End, which is where I want to go, because the last time I went there it was 10 o'clock at night in the pitch black. Um, but the task is to get a tea towel from Land's End. Yes, yeah, we need a new tea towel. Anyway, we'll catch up with you when we're on the road. Okay, so we're going to give you some fun facts about, uh, about the Minac Theatre. So, fun fact number one about the Minac Theatre is there's no Y in Minac. I keep calling it the Miniac Theatre, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's Minac. Um, second fun fact, and I find this absolutely fascinating, this is how the Minac Theatre came into existence. So, back in Roman times, the ancient god of performance and theatre, Shakespeareus, decided that he wanted to create lots of outdoor theatres. Now, um, he'd already created one um, in uh, London called The Globe, and that was an outdoor theatre. So what he decided was he wanted to create another theatre. So he sent a lightning bolt down to the cliffs in Cornwall. And the lightning bolt hit the cliffs and it dug out these steps in the cliffs for people to sit on. And the main part where the lightning bolt struck was like a um, sort of round divot and that created the stage. So amazing fact, yeah, it was created in ancient Roman times by, yeah, Shakespeareus, the god of theatre. Obviously that's all lies. <laughs> uh, it was created by a lady called Rowena Cade and she built it all herself, but Emily from Camp Five has already covered all the facts I was going to use, so we thought we'd be a bit funny and make up our own. But yeah. Obviously, yeah, that's what David said is not true. No, but, it's more but fun. I do isn't have it? a fact. That's actually. more fun. Mine's more fun. Isn't it? Minak actually means rocky place in Cornish, so that's that's true. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, fun facts that are not very fact factual. No, but it's a Something nice... different, hey? No, no, it's a nice story. Like, tell your kids. If you come here, tell your kids. <laughs> they will love it. Anyway, we are going to be arriving at the Minuck Theatre soon, so we will show you what it's like. A um, couple of things to note up the top here. So it is free parking. Um, it is on grass. Um, other thing to note is the girls are allowed in, so they're coming with us. But they've got me on a short lead, so I'll be raining them in in a minute. <laughs> Do you need to pre-book your, oh, your, yes. uh, your entrance? Because uh, it's pre-booked pre visits only. i 
reaching for something that ain't lost. Have we got it? Our lines cross. We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things. Understandings and words unspoken. We fall apart. Claire, yeah. what are you watching? Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, apparently. If music be the food of love, play on. Give me the excess of it. That, so biting the appetite, may sicken and may so die. Oh, it came on my ear, that sweet sound. No more. Oh, spirit of love. How quick and fresh art thou, from the moment when Lady Olivia did grasp my first... I can't remember the last bit of the line. <laughs> grasp my first... No. Cut. <laughs> what do you think? You're not giving a stand innovation. He's not very good. He keeps forgetting his lines. Well, it was only in the dress rehearsal. It's important to note, it is still a work in theatre. Um, you can, however, go in there during the daytime. You see, there are quite a few dogs here, actually. It's not just ours. But yeah, stage there. And then behind, the sea. How's that for a backdrop? So you've got the grass seats up here, which are obviously a little bit more comfortable for your bottom. Or you've got where Claire's sitting, you've got the stone seats. Get a wave, Claire. I've got to be honest with you. I think this is the closest I'll ever get to the Royal Box. I do think for me though, my tour may have ended because uh, there's a dog down there who's whining like crazy and wants her dad back. So when I went in the uh, Royal Box, I thought I was punching, um, but it turns out they let anyone in the Royal Box these days, even dogs. Hello. Hello. So, I've been on a tour of the Minak Theatre. Claire sat here with the dogs and watched the entertainment, didn't you? How'd you find it? Some of it was a bit hit and miss, actually. Yeah, the bloke that went on the stage before me was terrible, but I was all right, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, lovely little place. Yeah, little cliff top theatre. I would love, I'd love to. to see a show. Yeah. I'd really love to, but it's tight. you've got to time it right and obviously you can't bring the dogs, so that would be major planning procedure wouldn't it but yeah. maybe one day i'll tell you what i'd love to see more than actually see a show here i'd love to be in a show here oh my goodness you imagine me on that stage i'd be loving it wouldn't i, I don't know if there'd be many bums on seats though. there's loads of capacity you'd be all right <laughs> you'd get everyone in right anyway we're going to love you and you and i think we're going to head to land's end now yeah if we've got enough fuel We've only got 50 miles left of fuel, we need to get to Land's End and then back to Penzance. So that'd be a good cliffhanger. We should end this vlog, should we? Yeah. <laughs> will we get fuel? Will we get fuel? Fun now. Anyway, we will see you in Land's End when we get a tea towel. So, where at? Where are we? Land's End. We're at Land's End and uh, we just had our photo taken, didn't we? Yeah. It's quite good actually. We pay, you have to pay for it because they changed the sign to suit you. Pay ten ninety five, but they send you a digital version. They send you a version through the post. They'll take it on your phone for well, you yeah, as well. Took a few on our phones, um, nice, yeah. And they let us film it on the camera as well. So yeah, it's a family run business. You know, sometimes you look at these things, you think they're making a fortune, but also. Um, they've got a price for the car park for a motorhome and a price for a car and they let us in for the car price because they said to be fair they said you're only on a short wheelbase so again they could have made more money out mm. of us but they didn't so yeah and some places will take advantage of that that we're in a camper van e exactly you know, yeah really impressed actually it's a nice sunny day blue sky so yeah i'm quite impressed with land's end anyway let's go and find a tea towel yeah. <laughs> maybe you don't want to know So Claire, 
Your mission was to get some tea towels. Were you successful? Yes. I got two. You got two. So we have got the obligatory lands and sign. Yeah, we had to get one of them. It's quite we? a big one as well, isn't it? That one don't say do little campers on it though. No. <laughs> I didn't personalise them. That is massive. I know. And this one is. Yeah. And we got one off Cornwall. You don't normally get tea towels that big. Has anyone got a bigger tea towel than that? Comment down below. Yeah. Very good. Right, where are we off to now? Either Penzance or St Michael's Mount. Yeah. I think Penzance comes first, doesn't it? Penzance has to come first because we've just about got enough petrol to get to Tesco petrol station in Penzance. Yeah, better go and get some petrol. <laughs> Hello, we made it. We didn't run out of fuel. No, we didn't. Although, when I got to a petrol station, I made a schoolboy error. You can't use contactless or you can't use, sorry, power pump for anything more than £99. So if you've got a thirsty beast like ours, <laughs> um, yeah, you can only put £99 in. But anyway, it looks really gorgeous here. You have a look at the harbour behind us. Normally, water in the harbour is a grey murky colour. But this is like really um, jade. I'm going to say that's a jade colour. Um, but yeah, we'll take you around and we'll, see you, we'll show you what Penzance is like. I think the girls are going to have a little paddle down yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's nice, uh, nice clean water for us to have a little paddle. It's a bit warm today. Child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. Ooh, I know you tried so hard. It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? So we're back at the van now I quite like Penzance There's a lot of positives going for it um, The car park at the front is very reasonable priced I think it was like £1.60 or something for up to two hours. On the whole, it's lovely, lovely yeah. place, sun shining, lots of palm trees and there's a train station. We've arrived at St Michael's Mount uh, and this is where we're going to go for a walk now but also we're going to have our dinner here. What a place to have a view. Look at where we're parked up. Dinner with a view, that's what we like. That is dinner with a view. And we've only had to pay for an hour's parking because it's free after six. Although we've got to be out of the car park by 11 because camper vans and motorhomes are not allowed in this car park past 11 o'clock. Also, if you download the Just Park app, if you can't get phone signal here, it's very difficult. I've had to get onto our Wi-Fi and it's took ages to download. So it is a bit of a pain in the bum. But yeah, we're here. We're going to go for a walk. Then we'll have dinner. So we have had a result. Dogs are allowed on this beach um, outside of the 1st of July and 31st of August, which we are, and also outside of the hours of 10 till 6, which again we are. So I'm going to go and join the girls on the beach. This place is stunning. So on one side, you've got all this beautiful greenery. Stunning. And on the other side, you've got that. So lovely. And you've even got David, look. So lovely. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking the mickey at me? No. <laughs> You're taking the mickey at me? <laughs> Hello, so we're back at the van. We're having our dinner. 
Which yeah. is much healthier than normal, isn't it, Claire? It's a bit healthier, yeah. Yeah. I've done a chicken goujon Caesar salad. But the beauty is, come on, when do you ever get that view for your dinner? St. Michael's Mount. Mm. Anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. We're going to tuck in. Um, and then what else are we doing? Oh, it's not the end of our Devon and Cornwall trip. So we've got lots more planned on our list. So stay tuned. And we will see you on the next one. We will. It might be Nuki. <laughs> see you soon.